we're giving a group of car and driver enthusiasts an opportunity to experience the all-new Jeep Cherokee firsthand in the Jackson Hole SUV Challenge, a series of real-world challenges versus a few viable competitors against the stunning backdrop of Wyoming's Bridger Teton National Forest. Whether heading to the ski slopes or home from work, stop-and-go traffic isn't just annoying, it's dangerous. Can a tool like adaptive cruise control help give you more safety and confidence? Let's find out. So I just engaged the adaptive cruise control on the Jeep Cherokee. It's very easy to set. You can go from one bar to four, depending on how close you want the car in front of you. The car in front of me just slowed down to 20, and I haven't touched the brake or the accelerator. This uh, Ford is making it tricky. Throttle response and braking is so twitchy. This Toyota drive is really jerky. Let's go, let's go. I'm not so stressed about what the car in front of me is doing. There may be no brake pads left after this trip. I'm really having to wrap my brakes in here. I think they're really spoiled with this. This is beautiful. Can't take my eyes off the road to see it though. So up until this point, I've never thought of a Jeep Cherokee as a good in-city car. But with this adaptive cruise control, this would be a phenomenal car if you were driving traffic every day gonna wear the brakes out on this thing. I didn't expect this kind of technology in it. The Ford Escape in comparison to the Jeep specifically was jerky and difficult to drive smoothly. Uh, in a stop and go situation it would drive me crazy. I was wishing I had active cruise control because every five seconds I was afraid I was going to hit the Jeep in front of me. Active cruise control in the Jeep Cherokee was very nice. It kept me close to the car in front of me. All I had to do was keep it between the lines. 